Hi there, this is Arik from the Tidio support team. In this video, you will learn how to add a canned response, how to use and send a canned response, and how to start a chatbot manually during a conversation. To manage your canned responses, go to your settings, and in the general section, open canned responses. Click on add a new canned response in the upper right to create a new response. You'll see a new window where you can type in your canned response and decide whether it should be private or available to all operators. Private canned responses are visible only to the operator creating them. It is good practice to use tags. They let you organize the canned responses into categories. For example, you can tag your responses based on the topic they deal with, or use tags as labels for specific responses you'd like to find quickly during a conversation. When your new canned response is saved, you can start using it while chatting with your visitors. You can use the dedicated button at the bottom but you can also use the forward slash key and type in a word that occurs in the canned response you're looking for. This will narrow down your search and can be very useful when you have a lot of canned responses. It can be helpful to create a new canned response from a message that has already been sent. To do that, hover your mouse pointer over the message and click on the lightning icon on the right side. You'll see a new window where you can modify the canned response, add tags, and decide whether the response should be private or visible to all operators. Canned responses are quick and simple, but if you need to prepare longer messages with pictures or interactive options, our chatbots may be helpful here. To create a chatbot that can be triggered inside the conversation, you'll need to use the trigger called Operator Starts the Chatbot. Inside that trigger, you will need to give your bot a name as well. This will let you activate the bot during a chat by clicking on the Chatbots button at the bottom or by typing in the forward slash key and then hitting the Tab key to go to the chatbots list. Of course, you can also type in the bot's name and narrow down your search. We hope this video was helpful. See you in the next one.